So how does the tibial plateau actually hold the condyles of the femur? It's not completely fat. There are little grooves and then there's a little indentation in the center, which is going to fit inside this channel of the femur. But the, the parts of the bone that receive each of those wheels are more or less flat. It's kind of like if you put your two hands out and you imagine that this was your left knee, your hands would be the tibial plateau. And then you imagine that there's two wheels, you can make those with your fists, resting on the two hands. That's more or less the shape of the knee. Now that's a little surprising because most joints have some sort of a ball and socket shape to them as we see in the hip, as we see in the shoulder. The knee is different in this regard. And what's going to create that socket shape, because it does need somewhat of a socket, is going to be what are called the menisci. And these are pieces of cartilage that essentially hold the condyles of the knee like, it's almost like a uh, cradle with low, very low walls, right? So you imagine um, if I, took a basketball and I dropped it onto a blanket that had been folded a few times, there would be a little bit of an indentation in that blanket that held the ball in place. But it wouldn't be very much. And if I pushed the ball, it would probably roll out of that indentation. Now, if I pushed the ball down into sand or dirt until it was half covered, I couldn't roll the ball out nearly as easily. So this is a lot of what's happening in the knee joint. So if you feel back down at the space between the femur and the tibia, you can imagine now that there are these cartilaginous disc, disc-shaped objects. They're actually more like horseshoes, but they're round, and they are wrapping around the condyles of the femur. So if we look at the bottom of the condyles of the femur, you can imagine that there are these rings kind of like this. Now they don't actually form full rings. They're actually more like horseshoes that point in towards center. And each of them holds the very bottom of the condyle. Now what this is going to do is it's going to allow the condyle to gently slide inside those grooves. I often think about them as being like an amphitheater. And I imagine myself very small in the center of them and that big bone of femur, that giant spherical shape spinning inside. So if we think about the left knee, you can hold your hands like two C's and imagine now that shape of the tibial plateau. So we have the circle shape of the tibial plateau, a flat circle, and then on there are these two horseshoes facing inwards. The, big, the bigger one is actually on the inside of the leg, smaller one on the outside, so you could reflect that if you wanted to. And now imagine that the femur condyles are resting in there. So you have the flat tibial plateau, the two horseshoe menisci, and then the condyles of the femur resting in. So then from that perspective, begin bending and straightening your legs. And you can imagine that this is covered with synovial fluid, so like that egg white substance. And the walls of the menisci are shaped. They're very strong, but they're also, they've got some give to them. So they're built to absorb the force of the femoral condyles. So I'm imagining that left leg, seeing the condyles as they roll back and rest into their amphitheater sort of containers. Now as soon as I start doing this image, I feel a difference between my left and right leg. You can compare all the different ways that affects your body. It'll probably be a lot. But let's just move into the right one. So now I imagine the tibial plateau again. And then those two horseshoe-shaped condyles. So you remember which one is bigger. It's the one on the inside, a little bit bigger. 
resting on the tibial plateau. And then you rest the condyles of the femur inside those. I'm just standing for a moment and feeling or imagining as I feel the connection between all these things. And then I'm going to bend the leg and imagine those condyles rolling inside the sockets of the menisci. Imagine the menisci receiving the weight of the femoral condyles as they're rolling. Imagine the synovial fluid lubricating the entire surface. Remember, these are built to do this. So if you've ever um, bought a whole chicken or something and you feel the joint, when it's really fresh, it just moves so smooth and fluidly. So that's what you want to think about as a smooth, fluid, and effortless knee joint. Now with the image of the menisci, you can start exploring different movements and start building in that subtle five degree rotation outwards and inwards as I bend and straighten my legs. So we want to notice how these images affect the movement of my body. And those are the menisci. If you enjoyed this video, sign up for the Embody Space newsletter and share the link with a friend. You can also find original content on Facebook and Instagram.